Can Star Citizen appeal to everyone? That's a good question. Let's see. Talk to Star Citizen players about their dreams for what the game might be in the future, and you'll often get excited responses about different possibilities. But quite often, those possibilities don't quite align, which prompts the question, can Star Citizen truly be everything to all people? I'm Farrister, and in this video we'll delve a bit deeper into that idea. It's important to point out that whilst this channel usually focuses on what's in the game right now, it'll be necessary to consider some ideas that people might have about the future of the game. I, I like that he's gravitating more towards this style. This is how this is how the game started. This is how my channel started. It's good to have these discussions and debates. A lot of people say, oh, it's just theory crafting or oh, it's just speculation. And back in the day when we didn't know what was coming down the way, we had to do that, you know, and the channel, my channel blew up because of it, because we had these great discussions, these debates that would go on for hours. And a lot of developers listened to the channel back then. It was just myself, Board Gamer, uh, I think Noob came in afterwards. Uh, there was Tactical Advance, there was uh, STL Youngblood, and that's about it. There weren't very many people covering it. Uh, so, you know, I'm back from that, from those days, right? When we didn't know necessarily what was happening right we had the stretch goals we voted for the stretch goals but we didn't necessarily have a road map per se like we do now um i like this type of content i'm going to tell you why where other people say it's not important i think it's the most important to talk about these issues because the, when you talk about it generally the developers will come to this type of content for ideas and it is absolutely influencing them so for, for larger content creators, I won't name names, but there's plenty Star Citizen content creators out there and others following other titles. And what they do is they say, I'm not an influencer. Well, that's just a bunch of bullshit. You know, anybody that's spouting their opinions is going to influence somebody. It happened here earlier with Chrono, right? Just me talking right now, I'm influencing people out there. And, and some people would say that that's not important. But I would say that it is important because basically we're collectively talking about what we want to see in the game that we love and what we don't. Right? So it's very important to keep that conversation out there. Ideas which may or may not come true. So please take that into account as we continue through the video. So the crux of the matter is that Star Citizen, either through official channels or via Chris Roberts, has made a lot of promises about what it will be in the future. The Everything Game. That ranges from discussions about how game mechanics might work, the everything game. all the way through to the incredible variety in the concept ships. The stark contrast between combat fighters, base builders, luxury touring ships, and even flying farm ships naturally piques the interest of different players. It's the everything game. It's everything we ever wanted from, from a game. It's, it's why it's so successful. It's why it's bringing in so much revenue. So already, people are looking for different things from the game. Yep. The other challenge is that some of those disparate elements are at best unclear, Security in many cases important. subject to changing requirements as the concepts are fleshed out, and at worst are accompanied by conflicting developer statements. Mm -hmm. People. It happens. Take, for example, one of the most common discussion points in the community. Is Star Citizen a PvP or a PvE game? Yes. <laughs> it's the everything game, man. It's the everything game. The answer is yes. The answer, of course, is both, but the subtlety of that answer is lost amongst many. Yep. Plenty of miners and haulers just want to play the game without fear of attack. Equally, plenty of nefarious characters want to be able to shoot up other players without any consequence to their actions. Yes. Then there's all the talk in between. Include but don't you understand that this is a natural filter? Don't you understand that the playground that they're building here 
is a natural filter against the kiddos that just think that way. They can only think like black or white or red or blue or, you know, like they, they like this game is, is really filtering out that, which I appreciate. It's keeping the kiddos out, man. Like I want that game design to continue forward. It's for people that like challenges. It's for people that, that, that say yes, that answer yes to both. It's for those people. Now the trick is to, to balance it. That's really the trick. And that's going to take time. That's going to take a lot of time. Of security concepts but, like PvP. And, and it'll get better. I mean, like the thing that the thing the thing about it is, is it's going to get better over time as security develops. Security is still baby phase, man. We don't even have another system yet. You know, once you have introduction of outlaw systems, and 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 you've put more thought into the design of security in two different systems, you'll start to see it. You'll start to see how PvP and PVE can coexist. Other titles have done that before. Other titles have done it before. It can be definitely done here. It can definitely be done here. And people are just caught up in uh, the drama. That's all. That's all that's happening. The kiddos are just caught up in the drama and the clickety clacks. They're putting out the videos so that you click on them because, oh my God, oh my God, you know, oh, everything's, the sky's falling or, you know, in the other direction, you know. The, the truth lies somewhere in in, in between uh, the, 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 the spectrum and the thing is, is that this game is a natural filter to catch people that are open-minded and understand that. And I love that about Star Citizen. I absolutely love that. These sliders where players can choose whether to engage in PvP or not. It's no wonder different people have different ideas of what the game could be. It's a fight, man. It's a but fight. But does that drive happening. people down a route which says maybe this game isn't for them? At the extremes, You're gonna have quite that. possibly. Right. Taking the PvP and PvE analogy again, Star Citizen is not a pure PvP game. It's not Tarkov in space. The developer statements seem pretty right, clear why? that there right, needs dude. to be risk and reward for outlaw players, and some places in the verse will lend themselves to that, others won't. So PvP players shouldn't expect Star Citizen to remain the Wild West, where they can freely gank miners and... The in outlaw areas. Now, li listen, this is where I'm going to disagree with Ferrister a little bit. In outlaw areas, they will. But the miners have to make the decision if they want to go into those outlaw areas. And if they do go in those outlaw areas, those miners should be rewarded for it. The types of ore that is out there should be more expensive or plentiful. And in some ways, some, some type of reason for them to go out and risk their ass, right? Some type of reason for PVEers and miners and people involved with industry and traders to go out into these outlaw areas to make that extra margin. It needs to be placed in the game like that. And they will do that. So this is where I'm kind of disagreeing agreeing with him he's he's Ferrister's pv or pve oriented i understand i'm pvp oriented i understand that but i try and capture both sides of the argument here and the thing is in outlaw systems you are going to have an open playground where where pirates or or anyone can do pretty much anything that they want so you and and that is how you do it you blend it through through game design in multiple systems with different levels of security and that's how you get in both pve and pvp and and have them get along what i'm worried about is a pve mindset guiding the design uh changes or the designs in the game going forward because i've seen it with elite dangers where everybody decided to go all elite and no dangers i talk about the dangers of it all the time pun intended <laughs> <Let's go. laughs> thank you pepe let's keep going traders in UEE patrolled space. Equally, Star Citizen is not a pure PvE game. It's not Euro Truck Simulator. The developer statements seem pretty clear there that there will be risk and reward for peaceful players too. There'll be patrolled space to fly around in Good. with a relatively low chance of being yep. disturbed. But margin should be but lower. There will also be more profit it's going to be more profitable to go out into risker areas like it should be. I need Tony Z. I got to throw Shane Bell out to Tony Z. I've been shaming him for a while this year. <laughs> I need to hear more Shame. on the industry and the economy. Shame. Tony, dude. Shame. Come on, Tony. Talk to us. What's going on with the economy? Profitable places to fly where the risk is greater. Naturally, this is more tense in the current build as everybody is cooped up together in the Stanton system 
and there aren't sufficient consequences for aggressive Why players. Why says honestly, I will gank players in high security areas because that's high risk for me too. Yeah, I mean, like you're you're gonna have that, and then what you're going to see is uh, higher levels of security. So if you do that, you'll have definitely uh, more chance of of harsher repercussions in a higher security area. You know why? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Whining. So I mean, like that's how they've got to design it. That's how they've got to design it. Tony is deep in the quanta zone. Right, yes. right, whining. But in the future, it's expected that we'll be better balanced to that situation. <laughs> so, right. in that regard, somebody looking for a purely PvP or a purely PvE game might be disappointed with how things end up in the middle. Equally, for many players, the variety on offer from Star Citizen will be an appealing factor. One day you can be flying around as a medic, another day as a miner, and on another day as a space pirate. All in the same game. But for players looking to get very deep into a specific element of gameplay, we'll just have to see how detailed an offering we might get. For example, the <laughs> space farmers look looking to cultivate their plants are likely to form a relatively small proportion Red, of the overall player base, stream, so Red. it's conceivable that there won't be any detailed gameplay loop around those elements. If we get anything, it might be exactly, a fairly Nate. simple exactly, implementation. Dude. And that's the other key point. If we get things. Many of the concept designs sound great on paper, but as soon as work begins on developing that out as a gameplay system, things will often change. That can be seen in some of the concept ships that needed a rework before reaching flight ready status. When applied to gameplay loops, that could mean that some of the promises previously made about a ship or a gameplay loop might need to change. Take for example the we, Crucible we Repair it. Ship. We see it all the time. In the concept it talks about how multiple Crucibles can get together to build a frame around and repair larger ships. That sounds fantastic as part of the ship concept, but it's easy to imagine how difficult that could be to actually implement in the game. And given that only a small proportion of the overall player base might be interested in that as a feature, there's presumably a trade-off as to whether that's actually worth doing. So there's a risk that players looking for very niche gameplay could end up disappointed. It's important to point out here that there's a possibility that those promised features could end up in the game, but equally, the skeptic in me leads me to err on the side of caution. I hope to see this level of detail in the game, but I'll believe it when it's in my hands and I can play it. So, in summary, Star Citizen is likely to be a big universe, catering to a diverse range of gameplay styles. There is likely to be plenty of room for all manner of players doing a variety Absolutely. of activities, both peaceful and aggressive. But the players honing in on a particular gameplay loop and hoping for the game to be built around their ambitions might need to temper their expectations. But that's just what I don't think so. I think you're going to be able to have what it is that you want out of Star Citizen because I believe that the developers are going to balance it in such a way that you do. I mean, that's going to be the secret sauce to it. I mean, like, really, that's the secret sauce to any success, uh, any title out there that becomes a, a, an amazing success in the MMO world is, is to balance it and tweak it in such a manner where you can play exactly the way that it is that you like to play. That's the trick. It's not reliant on the player base. It's reliant on the developer base. It's never been reliant on us. It's how they build it, right? And I believe that they'll build it in such a manner where you can play exactly the way that you want. In a multi-system setup, you will be able to play it the exact way that you want to play it. Otherwise, it won't be a success. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. What I think. I'm keen to know your thoughts on the matter. There's my I'm thoughts. Look forward to reading them in the There's video my, comments. Listen, listen. Go give him uh, some DG360 love. I uh, appreciate his his opinions. I like his videos. Very calm, very cool, very collected. Go over there, DG360 Army. Go uh, like the vid. Help him out. He doesn't really need our help. God, he's blowing up. Look at him. Thirty-two thousand subscribers. One day, one day it'll happen to us, right? Right, guys. All right. I think it is time for the 360 spotlight. <laughs> All right.
Today is 360 Spotlight. Uh, Fonzie S. says, My two favorite Star Citizen YouTubers on one screen. Great video from 10 Pound 42. That was a great video. I don't know if I've released that on the channel yet, but I know what you're talking about, Fonzie. Thank you very much. That's super nice of you.